Arc 1S. Very simple to use, like all of our stuff. Okay. Um, it utilizes XYZ tracking, so it's going to track in and out, side to side, up and down. Um, actually, once you want to hop on. Go ahead and take a seat. Chin rest controls for these up and down arrows. Lateral cantle mark right here, just roughly where the eyelids come together. It's about where you want the patient positioned. I'm going to find the patient's eye. I'm going to slowly bring it in, and then I'm going to let the tracking take over. Those first three beeps of the K readings, now it's taking the auto refractor readings. Move okay. over to the other eye, bring it in. Notice it's going to track in and in, in and out, side to side, up and down. We're done. Go ahead and stand there. Go ahead, go ahead and stand. If I'd like to take a glare reading, well, first let's get a reading. Go ahead and look right at the top of that hot air balloon. I can touch the visual acuity chart. And can you read those letters? 6, 2, C, and K. How about those? Z, F, D, H, B. OK. So now she can read 2020 with the autorefractor reading. That means when you take this patient back to refract, you're not going to deviate very much from that objective autorefractor reading. If I touch the E, with the two lights on either side. First, it's going to drop the background illumination of the chart to simulate dusk. When I hit it a second time, it's going to turn the glare lamps on. Can you read those? No. How about those? Um, no. R, P, L, or C. How about those? Okay, 6, 2, C, and K. Great. You may sit back. Now, there's only one error message you're ever going to get on this, KM question mark, which we already have. All that's saying is during those initial three beeps that the patient either blinked or has dry eyes. When you have this message, have the patient blink, press the joystick button, and bring it back into focus. And I'll finish up. The other eye, and again watch the tracking. And again, cam question mark. Press the joystick button. And we'll finish up and automatically prints. If it doesn't automatically print, that means you have cam question mark on one of the other side, one of the eyes. This screen tilts up. In case you're in a tight space and standing, it's also very helpful for a patient with droopy lids. So if you have to reach across and hold a lid up. Lastly, the greatest technological advancement of all time in auto refractors, it's like you guys talked, we listened, changing printer paper. No little levers, no need for a magnifying glass, no need for an engineering degree. It's just like hanging toilet paper. Round of applause, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.